But yeah, we'll drop off all this stuff back in the safe room. It's probably a good idea I did get rid of those uh, dogs then. Because of having to make all these trips. You know, one of the interesting things I like about the early Resident Evils, uh, these these ones with pre-rendered backdrops, is how the scale doesn't quite fit at times. Like, like sometimes it looks as though the characters are way too small or way too big for the environment. I think this happened in Dino Crisis as well. I mean, it's not a big thing. Like, it's e easy enough for it to happen. It just like piques my interest. So yeah, we got three and a half crests. I guess the the rest of that crest must be uh, in the Yawn fight, I guess. Like, he must give it to us once he dies. Um, I'm just gonna, just gonna take all the keys. And hope they open something. Let's have a look though. Um, where could the last door be? Or the last armor key door? I guess it could be that one in the main hall. I thought that was a, a helmet key. I think it's a helmet key, but then I'm not completely sure. Okay. Yeah, let's just keep pushing on. The thing about the armor keys, or well, all the keys in the game, is you're going to use them somewhere. You're going to have to go into each of the rooms at some point. So eventually, you'll find out what door you've missed. Oh, sweet. Ammo. I was going to say, should I switch to like a shotgun or something? But now nah, let's take it out with the, uh, the handgun. Oh dear. There we go. But Jill did take some good damage, so that's annoying. Itchy tasty. So I think this is supposed to be uh, the hunter doesn't really sound like uh, a good description of the hunter though a gorilla without any skin but it's a reptile or it's reptilian that is how hunters are supposed to act though they're kind of sadistic and they do actually act like that that a bit in code veronica like they sort of stalk you around an area and then they charge at you they don't do it as characteristically in this as they do in Code Veronica, I don't think. Maybe in part because obviously the, the animation and the, the graphical quality, graphical fidelity isn't there. I wonder who this guy was then, was he just the groundskeeper or what? Because he said that he describes like a protective suit as a space suit, and that doesn't sound very uh intelligent
But on the bright side, we do have a lot of ammo, so that's something we've got going for us. Or we do now, anyway. And we got a full clip of ammo and some shotgun rounds from that room, which is a good haul. I wonder how many, ta uh, how many rounds it'll take to take down Yorl. And if I remember remember correctly, this door yeah, opens from the inside. Okay, we'll go through here. We'll try the door in the main hall, see if that opens. I think it's a helmet key door, but I'm not entirely sure. And then I guess we'll go for Richard. Okay. Oh, that's weird. So they changed that for the uh, the remake. I was thinking a remake. It's just like a helmet key door. Damn, that took a lot of rounds. Just realised I could have left him alive, and I only need to take out one so I could get round the room. Ah well. Oh sweet. Because in the remake, this area is kind of uh, incidental. You don't. Sweet. In the remake you don't need to come in here really. I think by the time you come in here the hunters are already in the mansion. And Damn that's nice. So you, you don't really need to come in here. Um, oh is that an extra door? Okay, so you can go from orange fine to uh, orange caution to fine. Interesting. Is this the costume room? Maybe. I'm just having this flash that the costume room isn't where the costume is room is in the the remake. Uh, okay, yep. Yeah. So we'll have a look at the other costumes. We are going to carry on with the default outfit for the arranged mode, so, or advanced mode was it? The one we've been wearing so far is just cool to have a look at the, out the other outfits. Yeah, so that's just Jill's default outfit. And I think the only other costume she has, aside from the one we've already been wearing, uh, is like a, a casual outfit. Oh look, there's Chris's jacket with uh, Claire's insignia on. Although I guess it's Chris's insignia, isn't it? Damn, this is taking forever. A lot of zippers for Jill to pull and tug at, I guess. So yeah, this is the other outfit, sort of casual looking Jill.
I gotta say these costumes aren't amazing. Like original default costume is quite nice. The the uh, the blue costume from the original version. Uh, is quite nice. Um, generally the costumes aren't amazing but they're not terrible at the same time like I do this is quite a nice alternate costume it's much better than the ones in 2 I think anyway or at least Leon's costumes in 2 um, I quite like Claire's for some reason Leon dresses like a bodybuilder in 2 and then what was the other one? Like a, oh, a biker guy or something, wasn't it? Where well, he wears like a leather jacket and he, it seems as though he's trying to look cool. And I just can't go for that. But at least we've used up the armor key. Um, not something. So yeah, we should be able to go and activate Richard now. Um, activate is a bad way to describe it, or a weird way. Um, but yeah, we'll be able to activate him and, and go and get the medicine for him, so we can complete his part of the story. And then we can come back, pick up the loiter, uh, Pick up the lighter. Oh, okay. And then uh, look at that what room, happened? I guess. Oh, god damn, this music. Oh, Jill. This house is dangerous. There are terrible demons. Ouch! <laughs> You're wounded. Really? What kind of demon attacked you? It was a huge snake. And also poisonous. Oh. Poisonous? Richard, hold on. There so, serum. yes, there is. No, I should have brought some with me. No problem. I'll go and get it. Thanks. So I don't know if it's just me and I'm horribly racist, but I always thought Richard was from that voiceover. I always thought he was like Latino or something. Uh, but no, no, he, he's a white guy apparently, it's just the voice acting is so bad, he sounds nothing like what he's supposed to sound like. Um, but yeah, because he's like really white and I think he's blonde in the remake, isn't he? It's like a completely different character. So I don't know if they just like got somebody who can act or what in this. But yeah, let's just go and get the... Uh, the serum for him. 